In this video, we will discuss the angles of elevation and depression. Now, in order to explain the angles of elevation and depression, let's look at the following diagram. We have two friends, let's call this one John and that one Mark. Uh, Mark is on the boat and John is standing on a cliff and John is waving downwards to Mark and Mark is waving upwards to John uh, to say hi or whatever. But if we look carefully in this diagram, we can fit a right angled triangle into it. And if I ignore all the pictures, I can actually solve theta, the angle inside this right angled triangle, by using the ratio of tan. Because I have an opposite value and an adjacent value. So if I substitute the values of the lengths of the cliff and the distance from the boat to the cliff, I then have a ratio for tan theta. Thereafter, I take the reverse function of theta on my calculator, I uh, plug in those values, and I find that this angle is 35.75 degrees. The angle of theta can also be described in a different way. It is the angle at which Mark waves or looks up at John. And because he is looking up, we call that an angle of elevation. If I draw in a line parallel to the bottom or baseline of this triangle, I can see that that angle inside there is equal to theta because of parallel lines, and these angles are then alternating angles. And we know that this angle would also be 35.75 degrees. But this angle can also be described at the angle at which John is looking or waving down at Mark. And because he's looking down or waving down, it is called an angle of depression. And that in a nutshell is what the angle of elevation and depression is. Elevation is an angle that goes upwards and an angle of depression is an angle that goes downwards.